Okay, here's what I want. I need everything, including a pencil, off of your desk. I need your desk completely, completely your dog. Everything off of your desk, find a good place in your book to stop, put your book back in your book box. talk about yesterday? What did we talk about yesterday? Think back, that was a long time ago. What did we talk about yesterday? So, do you remember what we talked about yesterday? No, I'm saying what we talked about yesterday, not what we're going to do. We talked about volcanoes and stuff. Yeah, we talked about volcanoes. Who can tell me one thing that you learned yesterday? about volcanoes. One thing. Robbie? Um, that there's a shield volcano. There's a shield. Well, that's one type of volcano, right? Uh, Lily? There's four volcanoes. There's four different types of volcanoes, right. Uh, Declan? Oh, there was, um, there was, um, two, two volcanoes that, um, that exploded really, really big. There were two volcanoes that were really, really small. They were all shaped different. Right. They all have their different shapes. You can kind of tell the difference between by a shape. Some of them were shaped steep and some of them were shaped long. Okay. So, real quick, before we get into our video, I'm going to draw this picture here. What, when we have... It's not out of the volcano area. That's the stuff that comes out. I'm not going to say what it is. This is the stuff that comes out of the volcano. There's two different names for it, remember? When it comes out of the volcano, it's one thing, but when it's inside the volcano, it's called another thing. Do you remember? We, we barely talked about it. It was in our book in the very beginning, and we, it was the first thing in the morning, too, so it's been a long time. Well, let's see. Link. Magma. Magma. Awesome, dude. Magma. When it's inside the volcano, the melted rock is called magma. And when it comes out, a crazy mess, what is that called? So it's magma inside. Alabi, you remember when it's on the outside? Lava. Lava. That's what you guys call it. Lava. I already knew it. All right. I just wanted to do a quick... I just wanted to do a quick check to see what we remember. Okay, we're going to watch a quick video on Mount St. Helens. You see which question. Hmm? Melted rock. I think it's like super hot. Okay, I need voices off. I need voices off, and we're going to watch this video on Mount St. Helens. We talked about it a lot yesterday. It was in about every single one of our books and little paragraphs that we read, so we're going to watch a little bit about it. St. Helens is one of the major peaks in the Cascade Mountains. It's an area of outstanding beauty, rich in wildlife. For over 120 years, the volcano has been quiet. But in recent weeks, it's been rumbling. 
Nobody is sure what to expect. Then, on May 18, 1980, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake rocks the mountain. continues to shoot poisonous steam and ash miles into the air. It was just, and again, astounding is the best word to describe what happened in 1980 here at Mount St. Helens. The northern slope of the mountain is buried in several feet of ash. air traffic for hundreds of miles. The scale of the destruction is enormous. Across more than 200 square miles, the surge of ash and rock incinerates trees. Thousands of species disappear. Billions of insects are gone. Deer and elk are wiped out. 